All right, we're here at Auto Club Speedway in the ARCA car. Um, this is actually attempt number two because uh, <laughs> I really messed up the first one. Uh, qualified like sixth and was this X car, and I managed to somehow get into the wall <laughs> on the first lap. It was just pathetic, really, <laughs> to be honest. And. Uh, You know, you get, when you hit the wall with the Arca car, you kind of get glued to it, and uh, that wasn't even so bad. Like, I'm like, okay, that was, I mean, to be clear, it was very bad. <laughs> Being able to, or getting into the wall in the first lap is not good. But, uh, you know, I was going again, everything was fine, and then I just got absolutely doored in this corner right here. I don't know what they were doing, but they just, like, completely slid up the track and doored me and got me into the wall again. And, uh, it, it was just awful. <laughs> I just quit recording because I was just running by myself the whole rest of the race. Um, I actually managed to still get 10th at the end because... Oh, hold on, let me get this right. Uh, never mind, I'm not going to get it right. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I still managed 10th at the end because uh, so many people, there were a couple big wrecks. And so I kind of salvaged and broke even, but it was pretty bad still. Embarrassing. <laughs> Not very good driving at all. Um, I could blame the lack of practice, but I don't think in any case you should be, you should be hitting the wall. Um, hitting the wall on the straightaway, so I don't know what my problem was. It's right, right, right about here. Like, it was kind of exiting the corner, but it was just kind of like I was looking at the other guy, I guess, to my left too much. That might have gotten me in trouble. I don't know. But, uh, we'll get a better Q-Lap here, it looks like. Maybe. Still not very good. I don't know why I lost about a tenth on my best lap, but 41.7, 41.6. Uh, looks like the second lap's gonna be quicker for everyone, so we'll wait and see where we actually get. But you can see we're the number one car, which is scary. Um, I guess the guys that were better than me left <laughs> after the last race. 41.6 is pretty good. So the high side's where you want to go here to be fast, but I think in the actual oh god, I'm trying, in the actual race, um, you don't want to do that. I think that's going to burn the tires off too much. So I think what I'm going to do in the actual race is kind of cut down out in the corner. I'll show you kind of what my idea is. God, something like this. Probably want to back take a wider arc, but, uh, yeah, do that, but better, because <laughs> I think that's going to be better, better on the tires. Uh, it's a 30 lap race, not too long, but, uh, it did seem to be a, a good idea to have saved tires by the end of the last one, so we'll see what the situation is. But, uh, looks like we're probably going to get pole unless someone, uh, comes flying in. Couple names in here that uh, I'm a little scared of, but it should be okay. Hmm. If you get this just right, you can kind of run that bottom and keep the steering wheel wheel really straight and get through the corner like that and not do too much uh, turning the wheel at all overall. Oops, let go of the wheel, speaking of, and hit that apron. Um, yeah, I kind of like take it like that. Yeah, that's better. That's a little slower, but I think it's better for long run speed.
course, we might not uh, get too much of a choice if we're running side by side with guys. So I think draft is going to be a thing. Let's see how it goes. <sighs> Starting pole. About everyone qualified. All right. Let's do session last lap. We'll be in control on the start. Excuse my squeaky chair. I'm trying to switch this chair out soon. Because uh, not only is it squeaky, but it'll start sinking when I'm racing. <laughs> and so it's like I'm driving while in quicksand. Suddenly my hands are above my head. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but it feels like it. All of a sudden I'm getting shorter in the driver's seat. It's like I'm driving a Formula One car by the time I get down low enough. <laughs> so hopefully the chair behaves. Let's see if everyone gets uh, gridded up. Come on guys, let's go. And let's not hit the darn wall this time. I think I might uh, take the high side for the uh, first lap or two, maybe. Get some space behind me. If I even can, they might be able to keep up in the draft. I don't know. I basically didn't get to race next to people the whole last race. I was on my own the whole time just picking off people that were in wrecks. So, I might have to learn some more things during this race, but... I guess people are waiting to the last second, so we have to wait the whole time. Thanks, guys. Now you're graded up. We saved a grand total of zero seconds because this timer still went down. Alright. Off and roll in here. Come on, pace car. There you go. I'm eager. I want to actually race this track instead of uh, whatever that was, that, that last race <laughs> was. I the pace car stays down here. It's a second gear start because uh, first gear you're already on the limiter at this speed. Two mile track, so got to get going under these caution lamps going highway speed kind of puts into perspective how big this place is you know you imagine going 70 down the highway and uh, look at the scope of it I'm sure it translates even better in real life but <sighs> see if we can get a good jump not sure if that's gonna be possible I'd like to get to the uh, maybe in the first corner, not the outside, but. What's it doing way up there? Get ready, going green. Okay, my jar is all ready. So I'll jump. Already getting decent speed here. It can be surprisingly loose in the first corner. Well, we gotta be careful. They're already wrecking back there. I oh, gotta change the position. Sorry, in the quicksand. So let's uh, let's do a quick lap. Do a qualifying lap. Get ahead a little bit to get out of the draft, maybe. and see if we can uh, save tires. Not sure what happened back there. Sounds like they're having fun. I think there's already a wreck.
I think what I'll do is I'll uh, take this low line until they start catching up to me a bit and then uh, I'll take the high line to get back away so we get a little bit of both goodies tire saving goodies and uh, <laughs> get away from me goodies Got plenty of practice time though, between practicing before the last race and during the last race. <laughs> Got about a second on him. Should be enough to uh, hopefully prevent too much draft gathering from them. That's just lab. Nice. That's what I like to hear. I'm taking the bottom line too. That uh, makes me feel good. A little loose, but that's good. That's why we want to run that lower line. So we're not uh, burning the right fronts off. I might just be okay taking this uh, low line the whole time. It looked like I was still getting away from them. Ooh, they get loose or something? 1.5 back now? Yes, fight for my amusement. Wish I had a TV in front of me so I could see it instead of empty track. Cut down a little soon there, it's gonna kill my runoff. Boo! Red, bad, boo! You see how important it is to get that runoff too, because these darn straightaways are so long. Straight. Come out the wall. Try to be smooth. Hopefully, uh, this is saving the tires as much as I think it is. Pull the car to the left. Thank you. It's nice and loose when you get down there. Helps the car turn. This the redemption I needed after that embarrassment of a last race. Hope so. Dingus getting in the wall on the first lap. There we go. See, that's what I'm trying to do every time. Get that green. If you take it if you back it up enough, if you uh, turn in late enough, I mean, you can really, like, basically go straight through the corner. Alright. Uh-oh, the number two is up there. He's probably pretty fast. I have to watch that deficit to see if uh, he starts catching me. Six. I feel like the only way they're going to catch me, though, is to uh, use that high line. And that's going to burn their tires off, so we're going to have a rough time. Turn that as low as possible. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh, no! Someone's been wrecked, I imagine. Hopefully we don't end up with, with some crazy lap traffic or something in our path. It's not what I want to see. I'd like this to just go as cleanly and boringly as possible, honestly. Put 
because I just kind of need a, I need a rebound. Okay, we're maintaining. Got 1.7. Still not even halfway though, so gotta be vigilant. Keep coming down here and getting that turn. Fix my quicksand chair. that one a little bit. Oh, that's something I forgot I wanted to do to get out of this corner. Uh, break bias. Even further back, please. Forced to take the high side because lap car is the thing I didn't want to see. So that slowed us down a bit, maybe hurt the tires. Gotta watch out, guys, that. Uh, got angry over something they might not be thinking clearly. I know I've been there. See how much time we're getting compared to last lap because of that lap car making us take that other line. We got a better run off but I think uh, in the end it probably hurt us a good deal. Maybe only about a tenth, but it really adds up here because you really got to hit your marks. At this place. Not the greatest there. I hope they don't get too much draft from the lap car and and they get by them really cleanly. That's just going to bring them a little closer. draft I can see it <laughs> oh I hope we can maintain this don't hit the apron oh my god I did just barely and it hurt me but that could have been worse throw this away. What's that second lane doing? Not good. Feels tighter than it did on my last run, the last race. That's scaring me. I'm throwing it away, aren't I? I went too hard. Oh, paranoid. It's getting smaller. The gap behind is now 1.2 seconds. Come on. We don't 
don't even need to gain, we just have to maintain. Okay, that was better than last lap. Come on. This probably looks so boring, but this is really intense for me because I've got to hit every mark if I want to keep this lead. It's not wanting to, meet, to give me that turn in anymore. I don't know if we're keeping it. in about a thousandth or a hundredth every lap or so. God, he's within a second. I hate this man. I hate that he's catching up. Even if he pat he catches us, passes us, I think we easily got second, but oh man, I don't want second. Maybe my problem was I wasn't getting low enough to get the car to turn. Helped turn. I've been using too much wheel. It's back to 1.2 though. Maybe he burned his stuff off trying to catch me. God, that's a tenth. That's a whole tenth that lap slower than the one before. Not what I want. <sighs> Alright, that guy that was angry decided to give up, I think. soon. And that's really going to accelerate his charge. Oh, what does it take to have him just brush the wall? That's all it needs. It's just a tiny brush. There we go. I remembered how to turn from one corner. A little bit. Unless the last side was just that bad. laps to go and they're gaining about a tenth and they're about eight tenths back I'm sweating laps to get I need them to click off such a tightrope high wire act or whatever you want to call it too because you gotta go you gotta go 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 but you can't push it too hard so that's what's gonna make them catch you faster so it's like intensity, but uh, intensity to ho be holding back. It's a, it's a weird feeling. An intense holding back. <laughs>
nine. Pushing out of the corner. Ugh. Car doesn't feel nearly as good as it did at the end of my last race. I must have just not done it the same way. <laughs> Fix my quicksand chair. <sighs> Point seven. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Staying on the on the brake a little longer, help it rotate. Did it a little bit that time, and it seemed to help me. Oh God, point six. He's in my draft now. to uh, try to prevent him from catching me. He looks like he's running that second highest line. What do we do when he gets here? How do we defend? him from passing me by running the high side. I think I can defend better if I'm running the high side. I'm trying so hard. Got the high side. Slides up. We're cutting down. 
Oh, I held him off. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, good race, man. I can't believe I held on to it. I thought you had me for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for racing me clean, man. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Whew. I can't believe I held on to that. He had so much better tires. Holy cow. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, well, I'm gonna go do some burnouts. I'm sure the tires will explode as soon as I do half an oval. <laughs> Jesus. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I sent it into that final corner, man. Redemption, yes. Oh, last race was so bad. <laughs> this one. I almost gave it up. Thank goodness. I saved it. <laughs> it was charging so hard. Yes. Woo! <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Oh, 60, 75. Yeah, my last race, they were much more even. I guess I just went a little too hard. 96. Sevenths of a second, 96 thousandths of a second. Let me watch that last lap. So let's watch, uh, where we got it, so. <laughs> Lap 28, so this is three to go. He's uh, running the high side because he's got enough tire to do it. And I think, is it here where I start doing the, going on the top to protect? I believe it is. So maybe he wasn't expecting it. That played in my favor. See, so I had to choose to go low. Uh, oh, I almost got the wall. I had to choose to, he had to choose to go low a little later, so he maybe wasn't able to take it as well as he wanted to, and uh, now coming two to go, taking that high side because it's easier to maintain your position from up there, but uh, he's faster, so he's holding on to it, he's just uh, maintaining his speed, yeah, it's a tiny run on me, not too much. But I knew this was going to be bad because he has enough tire to enough grip to put that past me because that's about all I can do from up there. But uh, we get the run off. And uh, he's nice to us and doesn't block. We come down here and I know I have to get back to the top. There's no way I'm surviving if I don't. So I have to get back up here and I overdrive it so hard. He doesn't get into me, thankfully. <laughs> this is about as fast as I can hope to go. So I'm kind of just almost even blocking it up here. Not on purpose, but just because he's so much faster. And so I know what I have to do. I have to, on dead tires, get the best run as possible right up by the wall. So I know I have to lift off early and get as best run as I can get. So he pulls a slider on me. That makes his momentum going to the right. I come down, he tries to block it, but I get there. <laughs> get the run off. Oh, man. I don't even know if I deserve to win that one in the end after uh, my how much time I bled off, but holy cow. I'm glad I was able to. Great race with the guy. Like I said to him, thank you for running clean. That was awesome. So, alright. We'll uh, check out incidents, see what happened out there now. Uh, not the blimp. Chopper? Sure. Turn that racket down. Just a little bit. So what we got? Slap so one. Let's get it started second. He got real loose. Oh no, he wrecked. Oh no, I didn't even realize that happened. That might be the only reason we won this race. Because people had to check up for that. I'm going to go ahead and say I didn't deserve this one. <laughs> ah, it's because I'm. 
up there. Got some guys that came through seconds back here, biding his time. Was he running? Uh, I'm interested. I'll check later in the run to see how uh, he was maintaining his tires, how he was going about it. But uh, after the spin, number 12, still getting in the wall. Dragging it, see, you get stuck on it. It's not a good feeling. And then when you finally pull it off, you're going crazy, and that's... Oh, that's very upsetting for the 10. That's, is that the guy that was angry? Yeah. Kind of had a reason to. There's no reason he had to pop off the wall that hard. Got to keep it up there. Definitely didn't do it on purpose, but... Uh, oops. Kind of got to know that's what's going to happen. So, that sucks. At least he holds his brakes. Kind of. <laughs> it's a good thing he let it roll, I guess, because the other person was heading on the high line. So, tan after he got into it. Now into the wall. Probably got damaged car. Oh, he's a lap down at this point because that's the two passing him. So let's see. How was the two? Where was the, Where were they running? I wonder. They're running not the high line, but kind of the middle. Okay. Interesting. It seemed to work for them. They certainly saved tires better than I did. Made up a butt ton of time. Whew. Tan in the wall. Sorry, I'm still thinking about that finish. Tan has just given up at this point, I think. That sucks. Driving angry. Tan bit of wall. Not sure why we're seeing this. Seems like everyone's pretty spread out, pretty far. Guess I'm gonna keep skipping until we see something interesting. 17th into the wall here, you can tell. Thankfully they didn't get into the four. Be bad for both of them. Just some wall. For blocking after getting in the wall? kind of deserve that, if that's what they were really doing. <laughs> and that's it. So, yeah, they didn't count. It's just showing our <laughs> terrible burnout where we bump our rear. It looks, kind of looks like an ampersand. Or like a treble, or a base cleft. forget which one's which, but... Oh, that felt good. Go to Domino's today to get your two for six deal. Mix and match deal. <laughs> Send me my money, Domino's. <laughs> okay. That's that. So we got we qualified pole. Ran out front and somehow held on. Every lap that I was out there was crucial. Every single lap where I was just trying to hit my marks, trying to keep consistent every one of them crucial not to tear the tires apart because the diff at the end it ended up being that close so man tough tough racing great finish hope you enjoyed it i, I did that was a lot of fun see you next time